even simpler jobs that are a higher quantity of 100 two off, you can set it early in the morning and you come in the following day and it's done. Well, I'm here with James to talk about his journey from a standard three axis milling machine to this five axis pallet changer. So what were you running before this? So before this machine, I was just running Haas three axis machines and four axis machines. Um, they were VF2s and VF4s, just doing one operation at a time. So what was it like when you were told that this machine was coming? It was an exciting thing to hear. It was quite daunting as well at the same time. We spoke before this and obviously there was another guy running this to start with who had had all the training. And you got 40 minutes with him. So what was the learning curve right? Yeah, it, it was a really daunting thing to happen, but I took it in my stride and had done what I had to do at the time to get the parts running and out the door as soon as possible. Obviously with the Matsora, the G-Tech uh, control system, did that make it quite an easy changeover from one control to another? It did, yeah. There's a lot of codes on there that just transfer, transfer over from a Hasmiller machine. So to understand the codes and so on, it was quite a simple task to overcome. You did three axis and four axis, but what, would it, what was it like when you actually got a full five axis machine? It was exciting. It was nice to look at parts and see the full potential of what we could do with the cycle time and what we could achieve within the business. And now, obviously, you've got the, the pallet loader on this as well. So what's the pallet loader like to, to program and to get running? It's rather simple, to be honest. We can have multiple jobs on there at any one time, different materials, and it's, it's simple, it's easy. So you've actually not just took one jump, though, because you've gone from three axis to five axis, to five axis pallet loader, and then took it another step further and got the triangle fixture as well. So what's it like to program the triangle fixture? Does the control make that easy? Yeah, we've gone again from the three axis milling where your lights out running is half an hour tops once they've loaded it and clocked out. In here, we clock out at midnight at in the evening and it's still running when you come in the following day. And what I like is what you've already said is you're not just running one job on this, you can have multiple jobs just because of how easy it is to program. You set it running yeah. at, at midnight and when the guys come in in the morning, you either come in and it's still running or you come in to a load of, a load of finished parts. Yeah, yeah, I mean we have some big batch work go through this machine and even simpler jobs that are a higher quantity of 100 or two off, you can set it early in the morning and you come in the following day and it's done. 